Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Madison. I have another fun at home art project for you to do today. So we're gonna be doing a spin on a classic project that you've probably done before, but we're gonna add a little bit of flair to it. So here's what we're gonna be making. We are making coffee filter snowflakes. So what's cool about coffee filters is that the paper that they're made out of is meant to have water pass through them. So when we add the color to the coffee filter and paint over it with water, it creates this really pretty watercolor look to it. So let me show you what supplies you're gonna need for this. All right, first and foremost, you're going to need some coffee filters. You can see mine already have some blue stains on them from being on the table with my examples, but yours will be nice and white and plain and ready for your creativity. Next, you're going to need some markers. I chose blue markers because I like how icy they look and my Christmas tree is blue so they match. Um, you can do colors to match your holiday decorations. You can do the colors of the northern lights, red and green for Christmas, whatever you want. Next, you're going to need scissors for cutting out your snowflakes. You'll need a jar of water, a clean water, and a nice soft paintbrush. You don't want anything too hard because you can rip through the coffee filter that way. And last but not least, you'll need an old rag or some paper towels because what happens is when you put the water on the coffee filter, the marker bleeds and it will stain your table, your floor, whatever you're using. So make sure you have some sort of protection to go underneath your coffee filters. And let's get started. All right, so you're going to begin by coloring on your coffee filter. I've already added some light blue onto mine. You can see I've done just some random coloring. I've done some dots. I might just continue with that and fill up my whole coffee filter. You can leave some white on the coffee filter so that you have a white snowflake too. You can do whatever you want. You can even draw pictures or designs if you want to. Just remember that you're going to be cutting a lot of this and you're going to be adding water. So don't go and draw anything too elaborate or that you're too attached to and you don't want to see get smudged up by the water. All right, so I'm going to finish coloring all of this in and then we will move on to the next step. So here I've got two colored in coffee filters, one that I just kind of filled up randomly with color, one that I did dots on, and now I'm going to paint with the water so that I can make the colors blend. So I'm going to start with this one here. Remembering that you need some sort of protection underneath your coffee filter before you go and paint it because you don't want to stain up your table. Now it's okay if you have a lot of water on your paintbrush. You kind of want that, which is why we have the protection underneath. And then you just really, you can drip it on there. You can work it on there. You might see some of your lines from your markers. That's okay. You're not going to notice that so much after you start cutting it out. See, you can see where it really starts to blend out and you lose some of that those marker lines. And then once you have got your whole snowflake painted, you just let it dry. All right. Time to let it dry. All right. So now you have your dry coffee filter and look at how pretty those colors came out. I'm really happy with it. So what you're gonna do next is you're going to fold it in half, like you fold a taco, like that. And then you're gonna fold it in half again. Again. Every time making sure that you're folding it nice and evenly. Okay, like a little pizza. And then you're gonna fold it one more time. So that it looks like this, all right? And this is where you start cutting out your snowflake. Now you can cut on the top, you can cut on both of the sides, you can cut off the little tip and that'll give you an open center to your snowflake. So I'm going to do one where I make the, I'm gonna cut from the top because that gives you a really cool looking 
pattern for your snowflake and it makes it less circular and more pointed on the ends. So I've done that. Maybe I'll do something like this. Maybe I'll add some circles. Remember, half circles. And you don't want to cut too far so that you cut your snowflake in half. You don't want to do that. Remember to keep all of this middle part, you know, don't make any of these lines touch like here or else you'll snip it in half. And be careful. You're working with a lot of layers of paper. You don't want to accidentally go cutting one layer but not another because then you'll have a lopsided snowflake. Now I just did kind of basic, oh, see? Just like that, I cut it off. Well, let's see how it comes out anyway. Maybe it'll come out cool. All right? And then you just very carefully unfold it. You know what? I'm happy with that. I think that came out cool. So maybe you do want to accidentally snip off the tip of your snowflake. So there you have it, guys. Our beautiful coffee filter watercolor snowflakes. And you can tape them to your windows like sun catchers. The sun will move through them. And then you'll see all the pretty colors through the sunlight. You can hang them with little strings. You can decorate your Christmas tree with them. Go to town, be creative, post pictures, and show us what you do with this project. I hope you guys liked it. As always, stay safe and stay creative. Bye, guys.